Good morning, and welcome to WWDC. iOS 15. First is a feature that makes FaceTime calls sound like you're sitting in the very same room. We're bringing spatial audio to FaceTime. Now your friends' voices are spread out to sound like they're coming from the direction in which they're positioned on the video call. When you're on a FaceTime call, your mic is picking up a cacophony of sound. So in voice isolation, machine learning distinguishes these sounds, blocks out the ambient noise, and prioritizes your voice. Let me fix this. Better, right? When you want to see every face in the room, you can now turn on grid view, giving you another way to view your group FaceTime calls. We're introducing portrait mode. In FaceTime, portrait mode blurs the background and naturally puts the focus on you. We've created FaceTime links. Now you can generate a link for FaceTime call and share it anywhere. Your friends with Android and Windows devices can use your FaceTime link to join the call right from their browser. SharePlay is a powerful new set of features for shared experiences that you can enjoy when you're on a FaceTime call. When you're on a call, all you need to do is press play in Apple Music and you can choose to listen together. Jump to a streaming app and press play and boom, you and your friends are watching the same video totally in sync. Check out screen sharing. You can use it to browse Zillow listings live with your future roommates or show off a tricky move in your favorite game. Screen sharing is also a simple and super effective way to help someone out and answer questions right in the moment. And it works across Apple devices. I'm so excited to show you what's new in Messages. Look at this brand new collage design. In this cool stack with even more photos from Taylor, I can quickly swipe through them, tap to view the full bunch, and even add a quick tap back. Let me show you something we designed called Shared With You. So now if I want to check out that playlist Lena sent earlier, I can head over to Apple Music. And it's right here. Well, over in the Photos app, a new Shared With You section makes it super easy to get back to them. They'll also appear in my featured photos and memories. And if something especially important comes through, you can quickly pin it, and it'll be elevated and shared with you and places like Search. We're introducing the Notification Summary, a helpful collection of your notifications you can schedule to be delivered at any time you choose. Now, when you're using Do Not Disturb, your status is automatically displayed in messages. When you reach out to someone who's indicated they don't want to be disturbed, you'll be reminded in that moment. Focus is a new way to match your device to your current mindset. With Focus, all you have to do is choose what you want to focus on. You can carve out time in your day for work or your personal life. When setting up a focus, we use on-device intelligence about your past activity to suggest apps and people to allow notifications from. Live text. Let's say I just finished a meeting with the team. I can now just point the camera at the whiteboard and an indicator appears here in the lower right. I can use my normal text selection gestures, just drag and copy. Now I can just select it like this and I have the option to use lookup to find out more about this restaurant. And it's not just text, just tap. And you can look up information like the breed of a dog, or type of a flower. Here in the Photos app, I can tap on the For You tab, and my memories are right at the top. Check out this beautiful new animated title card. These new memories are built on the fly. They're interactive and alive, and are paced to the beat of the music. I can touch and hold to pause, and the music continues to play. When I let go, the pacing adjusts to get back on beat. Swiping on this carousel lets me try out different mixes with intelligently chosen songs, pacing, and a look to match. We're bringing keys for your everyday places to wallet. Starting with where you live, we're creating the fastest, most secure way to unlock your house, apartment, or flat. And where you work, just add your corporate badge and tap to enter your building or office. And where you travel, with hotel keys, you'll automatically receive your key when your room is ready, so we're bringing identity cards to Apple Wallet. This fall, you'll just scan your driver's license or state ID and participate in U.S. states. Next up, weather. We're introducing a beautiful new design with data and layouts that change based on conditions, such as wind and rain, unhealthy air quality, or sunny skies. There are now thousands of variations that more accurately represent the sun position, clouds, and precipitation. And the weather app in iOS 15 includes full screen, high resolution weather maps. These maps show temperature, animated precipitation, and air quality. In iOS 15, maps will offer incredible new details for commercial districts, marinas, buildings, and so much more. And we built a beautiful new nighttime mode with a moonlit glow. We've added a great deal of new road details to the map so we can help drivers as they move throughout a city to better see and understand important things like turn lanes, medians, bus and taxi lanes, and more. This outstanding attention to detail, including the addition of crosswalks and bike lanes, will help drivers more safely navigate complex intersections. We've also made big improvements for transit riders by helping them easily find nearby stations. Users can pin their favorite lines to the top and even keep track on their Apple Watch so there's no need to take your phone out of your pocket. Maps also automatically follows your transit route, notifying you it's time to disembark as you approach your final destination. And if you've ever exited a station, unsure of which direction you need to go, Maps will help get you back on track. Simply hold up your iPhone, scan the buildings in the area, and Maps will generate a highly accurate position, delivering detailed directions and augmented reality to help you complete your journey. With iOS 15, we have some great new features coming to AirPods. Through computational audio and beamforming microphones, Conversation Boost focuses your AirPods Pro on the person talking in front of you, making it easier to hear and follow along in a face-to-face -face conversation. Now Siri can automatically read your important, time-sensitive notifications to you, like when your dinner has been delivered. With iOS 15, you can locate your AirPods Pro and AirPods Max using the Find My network. Your AirPods simply send out a secure Bluetooth beacon that can be detected by other Apple devices. And if they're nearby, just choose Play Sound. Listen for the chirp, whether they're in their case or out. And the new proximity view in the Find My app lets you know when you're getting close. To make it even less likely to lose your AirPods, you can now receive a separation alert to notify you if you leave your AirPods behind. It's time to talk about iPadOS. 
Now you can place widgets among the apps on your home screen. Of course, a bigger canvas means more room for widgets. So we're adding a new larger format for widgets. So we've brought App Library to iPad. In iPad OS 15, there's a new control that appears at the top of your apps. Tapping on it reveals the multitasking menu. From here, I can take an app full screen or work with two apps at the same time by creating a split view or slide over. I can touch and hold on this message to open it centered on my screen. But I want to save this email and come back to it later. So I can just swipe down to minimize it into a new area we're calling the shelf. The shelf gives me easy access to all open windows of an app. Let's go to Safari, and you'll see that the shelf appears automatically when I switch apps. We've made the app switcher even more powerful. I can now create a split view just by dragging one app over another. This year, we're adding powerful new features for collaboration and organization. First, we're adding mentions. Just mention someone in a shared note, and they'll get a notification linking them back. There's also an all-new activity view that quickly shows you what's changed in a shared note while you were away. And to give users new ways to organize their notes, we're adding tags. You can add a tag anywhere in your note, and then use the tag browser to quickly find your notes. Quick Note is a fast and easy way to get to a note no matter what you're doing. When I swipe, the note appears out of the corner of the screen. It's perfect for jotting down something like a phone number. And when I'm done, I just swipe it away. Let's go to a website I added a link to earlier. A small thumbnail pops up in the corner that allows me to quickly get back to my Quick Note. And tapping on a link from a highlight takes me right to the content on the page. I can swipe across my Quick Note to see my most recent ones. And anytime I want to see all my Quick Notes, I can find them right where you'd expect in Notes. Auto-translate detects when you're speaking and in which language, so no one needs to tap a button to respond. Just speak and let translate do the rest. We're also excited to announce system-wide translation, so you can translate text anywhere. Just select the text and tap translate. With live text, you can even translate text in a photo. Swift Playgrounds is a great way to learn to code through a series of Apple design lesson plans that are interactive and fun. This year, we're taking it even further by adding the ability to build apps on iPad. While you're developing your app, you can run it full screen to try it out, and when you're ready, you can even submit it to the App Store. Let's talk about Mac OS. But what should we call it? Monterey. With universal control, you can now use a single mouse and keyboard to move between your Mac and iPad for a seamless experience. I'm going to simply move my Mac cursor towards my iPad, and the iPad automatically recognizes it. And if I move a bit further, boom, my cursor is now on the iPad. I can even drag and drop files between my devices. So let's add this iMac into the mix. Now I'm going to take this image and drag it across all three devices and drop it in to Final Cut. AirPlay to Mac. It works just like AirPlay today, so it's instantly familiar. You can play, present, and share just about anything. As you draw a sketch on iPad, your colleagues can follow along on the bigger display. And you can even take advantage of any Mac's high-fidelity sound by using it as an AirPlay speaker. And this year, we're bringing shortcuts to the Mac. And with the Shortcuts Editor, you can easily link together a series of actions to design shortcuts for your specific workflows. They're in Finder, Menu Bar, Spotlight, and of course, you can ask Siri to run them hands-free. We've reimagined the browsing experience. We distilled the toolbar to its essential elements. Tabs are more compact, modern, and lightweight. And there's a completely new way to use tabs with tab groups. They allow you to easily save and manage your tabs without cluttering up your tab bar. And now we're bringing web extensions to iPhone and iPad. Thank you for joining us. Let's have a great week.